Welcome viewers to the fifth and the last segment of the online series of lectures for the course of Algebraic Topology 2. So I got stuck in the computation towards the end of the previous segment. So um, let me get started there. So um, you, you see the, the two diagrams there on the right. One is the commutative diagram and the, the, the one in the bottom is the exact homology sequence okay and uh, in the previous segment we proved that image of image of phi p star is contained in the kernel of psi, psi p star Okay. Now we need to prove that kernel of psi p star is contained in image of phi p star. So for that we start with the following. We choose gamma which is the class of dp such that psi p star gamma is equal to zero okay so in other words we choose gamma to be uh, an element here in kernel of psi p star okay so um it implies that psi p star the class of dp is zero this is the zero class Zero class means it contains the boundary terms only. Okay. Uh, therefore, and and this is equal to the class of psi p dp, right? And it means that psi p dp has to be a boundary term term in EP that is there exists EP plus 1 in the group EP plus 1 such that psi P DP is equal to delta p plus 1 e e p plus 1 okay this is our equation number 18 okay good now since psi p plus 1 is surjective okay there exists dp plus 1 in the group big dp plus 1 such that psi p plus 1 acting on dp plus 1 psi p plus 1 acting on dp plus 1 is equal to E P plus one. Okay. This is equation number nineteen. Okay, let me erase this part. Um, then one finds that psi p dp minus del p plus 1 d dp plus 1 is equal to psi p dp minus 
साई पी सो लेट मी राइट इट फर्स्ट साई पी डेल पी प्लस वन डी डी पी प्लस वन हियर एंड So commutativity of this square tells us that this is nothing but psi p d p minus psi delta p plus one e psi p plus one d p plus one. Right. Now this is equal to psi p d p minus del p plus one e, and this is e sub p plus one using nineteen. Using nineteen is equal to. Zero, and th this is equal to zero using eighteen. Using eighteen. All right. Now. Since the sequence in Figure Three, this this figure is exact at D P. That is, kernel of psi p is equal to image of phi p. One must have. One must have um, so this guy, this guy belongs to kernel of psi p, and um, d p minus del p plus one d d p plus one is in image of phi p in other words there exists an element CP in big CP such that phi p CP is equal to DP minus del P plus one D d p plus one this is equation number twenty now note that phi p minus one del p c c p is equal to del p d phi p c p follows from the commutativity of this diagram 
and this is equal to del p d del d p minus del p plus 1 d d p plus 1 using 20. And this is just del p d d p. Okay, since uh, follows from the property of boundary operator. And this is zero. So uh, I, you excuse me for a couple of minutes. Okay, so um, now this is equal to zero. So it, it's because DP belongs to kernel of del p d modded out by image of del p plus 1 d so that del p d d p is equal to 0. Okay, good. Therefore, phi p minus 1 del p c c p is equal to 0 and phi p minus 1 is injective Hence, del p c c p is equal to zero. It means c p is a cycle. Furthermore, furthermore. Phi p star c p is equal to phi p of c p is equal to what is phi p of c p? It's equal to d p minus del p plus one d d p plus one, and this is what we this we can write it using twenty and this is equal to the class of dp okay because dp is homologous to dp minus del p plus 1 d dp plus 1 okay so therefore we we see that dp the class of dp belongs to the image of phi p star. Therefore, kernel of psi p star is contained in image of phi p star. So, so both the containments, the one that I proved in the previous segment and this containment together imply that image of phi p star is equal to kernel of psi p star okay which proves the exact exactness at the site hp the exactness of the of the sequence the the homology sequence which proves exactness at hp of d okay so that was the proof we do in a, a step three
Now, let us try to do it in step. So let us try to do the step four of the proof. We now prove Now prove exactness at HP of E here. This map is del star at P. Let alpha is the class of E P be an element. of HP of E. So EP is in kernel of del P E modded out by image of del P plus one E. Okay. In particular, EP is in big EP. All right. Now, also, uh, this map, Psi P, is surjective. Psi P is surjective. Hence, one can choose DP in big DP such that psi P DP is equal to EP. Okay. Then choose CP minus one in big CP minus one. So that phi p minus one of c p minus one is equal to del p d d p. This is equation number twenty one. Then, by by definition, by definition of the uh, homology boundary homomorphism del star p one has del star uh, p of alpha is equal to the class of c c p minus one okay Let now let alpha belongs to image of psi p star. We need to prove that alpha belongs to kernel of del star p. Okay, since Alpha is an image of psi p star. Alpha is equal to um, psi p of dp, the class of psi p of dp with dp being a cycle being a cycle in dp okay so let me explain why it's happening 
if one writes the homology class of dp by gamma then gamma is in hp of d so that so that dp is a cycle in dp right okay so um, in particular so this is the part of the the long long exact sequence of um, um, long exact homology sequence so this is psi p star this is h p of e and then from here to via del star p we get to h p minus one of c okay so this cycle dp is here so um so therefore psi p star gamma gamma is the class of dp is equal to alpha here with gamma is equal to the class of dp and alpha is equal to the class of ep so from here we get that psi p dp is equal to ep the class of ep right Now, since phi p minus 1 acting on c p minus 1 is equal to del p d d p is equal to 0, this follows this part, this part follows from equation number 21 and this is zero since dp is a cycle in big dp since phi p minus 1 is injective one must have cp minus 1 is equal to zero leading to leading to del star p alpha is equal to zero and that implies that mm, that implies that alpha is in kernel of del star p therefore image of psi p star is contained in kernel of del star at p this direction is complete now let alpha belongs to kernel of a delta star p that is delta star p alpha is equal to zero we need to prove alpha belongs to image of psi p star since delta star p alpha is equal to zero sorry delta star p alpha is c p minus one
is equal to zero, so this is the zero class. That means that it only contains boundary terms. boundary terms in this class okay so one must have one must have cp minus 1 to be equal to del p c cp here where cp is is an element here for some CP and big CP. Okay. Now, this is the claim. So let me erase everything. What is the claim? Claim is the following DP minus 5P CP is a cycle and alpha is equal to psi p star dp minus phi p of cp so that alpha is in image of psi p star so let us do it by let us compute it explicitly we compute del p d d p minus phi p c p is equal to del p d d p minus del p d phi p c p now oh using the commutativity so del p d this one phi p phi p so we, we use the commutativity of this diagram so so that this is del p d d p and this is mm, phi p minus one del p c CP. CP. Good. So this is del P D D P minus phi P minus one. This is del P C C P. Right. Now we use. So this is nothing but C P minus one. Right. Since cp minus 1 is equal to we, we just proved it a while ago cp okay and this is equal to 0 using 21 therefore this guy is a cycle dp minus phi p of cp is a cycle all right now psi p star of the class psi p star acting on this class the class of dp minus phi p of cp is equal to psi p dp minus psi p composed with phi p cp this is equal to psi p dp why because phi p composed with psi p composed with phi p is equal to zero follows from exactness of this sequence 0 to C 
to D to E to zero and the chain map from C to D is denoted by phi and the chain map from D to E is denoted by psi and psi P D P is nothing the class of psi P D P is nothing but the class of E P and this is equal to alpha so that alpha A belongs to the image of psi p star okay so the claim follows now the last step to the proof of zigzag lemma step five we prove exactness at h p minus 1 of c here right let beta belong to h p minus 1 of c so that beta is in beta is in image of delta star at p this is delta star at p okay so We need to prove that we need to prove that beta is in kernel of phi p minus one star. That is phi p minus one star acting on beta is zero. Let beta be the class of C P minus one. Okay. And um, this is nothing but the class of phi p minus one acting on C P minus one. This is going to be the zero class meaning that this class contains boundary terms only okay Therefore, phi p minus 1 acting on c p minus 1 is equal to del p d d p for some d p in big d p. Okay. Then phi p minus 1 star beta is equal to the class of phi p minus 1 c p minus 1 and phi p minus 1 c p minus 1 is del p d dp therefore this is the class of del p d dp and the class of boundary terms is the is a zero class right therefore we find that beta is 
in kernel of phi p minus 1 star. Hence, image of delta star p is contained in kernel of phi p minus 1 star. Okay, now let beta be in kernel of phi p minus 1 star. One needs to prove prove that beta is in image of delta star at p. One has phi p minus 1 star beta is equal to 0 since beta belongs to the kernel of phi p minus 1 star. Okay. Let beta is equal to the class of cp minus 1. Then phi p minus 1 star the class of cp minus 1 is equal to 0 implies that the class of phi p minus 1 acting on cp minus 1 is equal to 0. So phi p minus 1 cp minus 1 is equal to del p d del p d d p for some d p in d p this is equation number 22 okay define e p is equal to psi p d p then del p e e p is equal to del p e psi p d p and del p e so the commutativity of this square gives us this being equal to psi p minus 1 del p d d p this is psi p minus 1 composed with phi p minus 1 c p minus 1 using 22 this one And this is equal to 0 since psi p composed with phi p is equal to 0 for all p. Therefore, E p is a cycle. Definition of delta star p tells us that delta star p acting on the class of ep is equal to cp minus 1 is equal to beta Therefore, beta is in image of delta star p. Hence, the other direction is proved. Therefore, we have kernel of phi p minus 1 star 
it being equal to image of delta star at p qed okay so this proves the zigzag lemma completely thank you for attending this fourth lecture